I'm doing this second set of experiments today to address some of the comments I got on my last recent video where the match was very close to the copper tubing and could have been responsible for the match lighting. Now, in the, in the first video I did, which was recent, just yesterday, I had a much larger copper coil for heating up the steam. And you'll notice that flame uh, is much smaller than the coil, so I couldn't efficiently heat the entire coil. And so I wasn't able to get efficient superheated steam production. So in the experiment I'm gonna do today, I'm gonna use a much smaller tighter coil, which will enable the entire coil to be heated by the flame, which should give me much better superheated steam production. So let's begin our experiment. As you can see here, the, the flame contacts the entire coil. And here's our superheated steam coming out there. As you can see here, it easily lights matches. The problem in my last video was the match was too near to the copper pipe. Now I'm gonna melt lead-free solder, which melts above 220 degrees centigrade. Let's go. Let's burn some wood. In this experiment, we can actually boil water with the superheated steam. Pretty amazing, isn't it? Well, I'm happy that you were able to watch this video and with this repeat experiment, show that it's definitely the steam that's melting the metal or lighting the match. Thanks for checking in on this follow-up video and please don't forget to like and subscribe and please come back for more videos.